Hi guys, it's Gusman in Bulgaria here. Now today we're going to sort out the water container that we are going to put by, behind the greenhouse. And uh, I'm going to show you how we're going to um, put that up and sort it. And also going to show you how we've put the water container down by the carport. So um, stay tuned and uh, I'll be back in it shortly. Right guys, so we've got this um, big water container. This is a thousand litres and it's, it's pretty light without the water obviously. But it's an aluminium frame so it's uh, easy to lift up. And we have um, wooden crates here as well to stabilise it and bring up the height. And these are brand new so these are going to last a long time. And I'll show you where we're going to put this guy. Or the plan. So this is our greenhouse. And the plan is to put it here. And we're going to have at least maybe four or five crates high. So we've got a, um, a good bit of uh, gravity that would be handy for the water to go into the greenhouse. So I'm going to make a wee hole going in there and into the greenhouse and uh, to feed this lot with water. So that's going to be really cool. So the reason I've already pre-painted or pre-varnished this one so this is going to be protected from the uh, the moisture straight from the ground. Uh, I'm going to build um, a framework here um, and then I'm going to put gravel down and then this guy on top. And this bit here I'm not, going, I'm not sure what we're going to do because uh, we have our potting table here so they're going to have to find a new home for that. So that's going to be cool. As you can see, we've got some of our strawberries are flourishing happily. But just give me a sec, and I'll show you what we're going to, do, what I've already done with the bun, the uh, container down by the carport. So right, guys, uh, this is the um, the water container that I've already put in. We uh, did it rather quickly because we had rain and they wanted to get it done fast. And so I've uh, redone the, the guttering here. So the water comes down through the pipe and into here. And I've put like a, um, a net in here to catch any dirt or rubbish going in and it will go into here so it's easy to take away. And... Um, we had basically a day's water and you can see, I don't know if you can just see here, it's like a tide mark. That was just a day of water that filled up halfway. But I've already filled up some the um, 11 litre bottles of water. So we've got um, a pipe here that I uh, used to, to fill and that show connector and stuff is here and again this here is um, on the bottom is waterproofed so that should last a long time but I'll show you what I'm going to do with the one up by the uh, greenhouse and the, um, I'll put it on a wee time lapse
Hey guys, that's a container up now. It was fun uh, getting on top of the pallets, I can tell you. Hey, um, that's all installed. I'm looking really cool. So I've um, screwed in here and I put a metal back it just to keep it in place, just to make sure it doesn't have any chance of falling over. And I've um, I put the potting table in front of it. I think it might be okay there. We'll try and do something. That's another glorious sunny day. So we've got the um, the tap here. All I need to do now is get connector to put into here. Going down. And then I'll probably make a hole into here somewhere. And, um, and yeah, make the tube go along here and into the bed there. And we'll also maybe do a tube going under the door and then along for this one as well. So the idea is basically when we have lots of water and this guy, we turn the tap on, we'll have, um, we'll have it connected to a timer so it can water uh, and then we don't have to use the mains tap all the time. So you do have the, the mains tap area here. in this little section here we've got a filter which is important and then that connects up and then the um the timer is where that bag connects to there and it goes into the greenhouse and into the um the veg area so that's um but we'll use uh, the mains water when we really have to Try and save some, some money. And also, I'll probably connect a pipe from this connector from here and going through it into the main garden and um, along the side there and connect it to the drip pipes. So that'd be cool. But there's uh, anyone else in Bulgaria, it's definitely worth getting one of these. And uh, the idea is that we're going to, um, when the water container down by the carport is full, uh, we're going to connect a pipe and get a pump, which will pump water into the top of here, fill it up. So basically filling up one from to the other. And then the, um, when this is full, we can use it for the greenhouse. And, um, and then whenever, whenever we next get lots of rain, the run by the dam by the carport will fill up. So that's uh, the main idea, because we've got a lot of roof space there and the amount of water that comes off that is um, amazing. And before it's just getting wasted and um, we thought, no, let's try and use it. So that's cool. And that's the uh, the garden's looking quite cool. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please say like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.